Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Are Polyatomic Ions Covalent or Ionic? And the answer is both. So let's take a look at what that means. Let's say we have a typical polyatomic ion, NH4 plus or ammonium. So how do we decide if this is covalent or ionic? Well, let's draw it out so we can see all the bonds. So we have nitrogen, we know we have four H's, I'm going to draw with a little 3D with some wedge and dashes because I'm fancy. And we have a positive charge in the center, atom, nitrogen. So is this covalent or ionic? Well, let's remember that covalent means that the electrons are completely shared. And there's no charge. With ionic, electrons are not shared, and there's full charges. So, with ammonium, we have both types of bonds. We have a straight covalent bonds with all of the nitrogens to hydrogens because we can see this is just a bond. It's not special, it's not doing anything, it's a covalent bond. So these ni this nitrogen and this hydrogen are completely sharing these electrons. Now, this positive charge on the nitrogen is capable of forming an ionic bond. So what it needs to form that bond is to have a counter ion. So let's take something, since this is one positive, let's take something that's one negative. So let's take chlorine or a chloride ion. So if you have now a salt of both of these ions, uh, this ammonium will form an ionic bond with this chloride. So you can write that out as NH4Cl, and this would be called ammonium chloride. And that's pretty much how all multi-atom uh, like common ions are. So if you have a hydroxide, a hydroxide is an OH with a minus. And so if you draw it out, this oxygen and this hydrogen are covalent, but this negative charge is ready to form an ionic bond, maybe with a positively charged sodium. And so uh, ionic bonds are formed because opposite charges are attracted. So they won't actually form, but they'll stick next to each other. Um, so both types of bonds exist, and uh, ionic is much stronger than covalent, um, but ionic is also has charges, so it's sometimes less stable, it'll be moved around, whereas covalent tends to more stick in one place. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is our multi-atomic common ions, ionic or covalent. Mm -hmm.